one advantage for Alicia as we come into this one. Alicia and Fallen, this is actually now looking like match point for Fallen. He needs to claw back. He needs to bring something to the table if he wants to take this to game five. Otherwise, he will be eliminated here from the Mercenaries Thunderdome. Which I don't think is the actual official name of it, but I mean, their guild name was the Thunderdome, so I'm just going to go with it, guys. It, it feels good. GDI and GDI. Alicia, first out, going to be a war dog. Fallen, uh, if, if this is like the Fallen signature build, I have to wonder if we will see drones in it, but starting off with the missiles. Going to try to keep those dogs at bay, so instead the dog's going to start charging up the nuke. Fallen's going to go scout. We'll find that there is a harvester. We'll get blocked from doing anything against that harvester, and we'll now lose those missiles. More missiles to come through here for Fallen, but Alicia is just not really having any of it, to be honest. Uh, triple dogs are now out. That will bully around this early game here from Fallen. Now, if we're following the pattern here, Fallen likely to go into either War Factory or an Air Tower to try to deal with all this. The the missile spam is just not going to happen then. But we're going to stick with it for now. Fallen actually investing two more into missiles, trying to clean up some of these dogs. But 3v1, 2v1, 3v1 kind of uh, deals hasn't really paid off very well for him at all. Alicia started... Looking to uh, swap, has that Predator, got it all the way half, about half into the map before those jump jets came out and just did an immediate U-turn. So, shocks to come through here from Alicia now as well. Just going to be trying to play protect the, the vehicles. The dogs are still getting, like, very meaty kind of shields at this point, but they haven't been shielding the Harvester. They've been shielding the Predator tanks, and now Alicia will lose that Harvester. Fallen's done playing around. He goes actually into air and war factory. That's going to be now a drone coming through. Nothing to shoot up. And now with a predator tank out here, we got these uh, jump jets as well. Oh my goodness, Alicia, your shocks are not finding any targets. Not a single target was found until just now. Alicia's going to try to make sure that she can block out this tank, but she can't block out the hammerhead. This is now going to be a blue point, but you can't stop the ground. That's going to be a big... Uh, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? It's going to say that Predator is going to do work here for Fallen. It's going to keep it yellow, but Alicia moved her shocks off of the point. Alicia, how could you, my girl? Um, she moved the shocks off the point. A big micro mistake right there. This is actually looking pretty fantastic for Fallen now. Hammerhead from Fawn just to throw it at the base. Alicia had to make a pit bull for it. These drones are really desperately trying to find some kind of use. Like, Fawn has to play with one less pop cap now, simply because those drones are not getting targeted down. Uh, this is good for Alicia. Bad for Fallen, but only if the counters actually keep coming out. These jump jet troopers, especially with this buff, are going to eat alive this entire front line. Fallen just took a massive swing at the production uh, value of Alicia right there. Double shocks to try to come out and deal with these jump jets, but the damage has been numerous. Eventually, at some point, Fallen was able to um, just really get a fantastic trade. And he keeps getting these fantastic trades with this three-building strat of his. Uh, the drones are still holding down points with no real contest. We are looking to clean up the Predator tanks on both sides. The jump jets need to move forward. There we go. Alicia's will lose out that Predator. We have another drone to come through. Pitbull will take it down. It's actually a pop cap back to Fallen now. But neither those shocks or those dogs can actually do much to that pad. So this means that if Fallen can sit on this pad in the left he will win everything there's a hammerhead coming out the hammerhead's not going for the drone second hammerhead now go will start to try to clear those but it's a four-man cluster it's going to take two shots the hammerheads here from fallen able to even take a shot but there's just a duel now back and forth red to yellow is alicia actually going to keep him off point long enough no it gets cancelled but how much longer is this missile going to stay canceled for? The Predator tank here from Fallen moving forward. It has to do with the 2v1. We have a Jump Jets now coming by here as well. They're just looking for a place to sit down so they can get some damage through. But it's still yellow, everyone. Now we got the blue. 
trying to keep that hammerhead off. It bullies its way onto the left pad. The jump jets are looking for blood on top of this uh, predator tank in the right side. Shocks are there to clean out. The predator tank does survive. It's going to be a 2v1 against Fallen's predator there in the mid. It's still yellow for everyone. Hammerheads coming through and taking to the skies. It's all just bloody everywhere. Vehicle wreckage is piling up. It goes red. Alicia has the pad into the right hand side. The jump jets over the pond were not fast enough. Alicia, after what, two full solid minutes after going over that missile pad, takes the second missile which means this is an important third missile because if Fallen cannot grab this, he is out of the tournament. And we will see Alicia versus Blade and nothing to stop those shocks. The shocks are actually getting uh, boosted by Alicia. Essentially just cleaned right through two sets of missiles. Dogs now trying to be a bit of a, a micro here on the right-hand side. Nothing can get on top of this pad. The hammerhead and the drones, the drones will not last too much longer. The MORS has some sufficient amount of health, and their pad on the left got microed out by Fallen. The shocks there didn't stay on the pad. Holy Toledo. Alicia moves on to the grand finals.